Exterminate! My fellow subjects, it is I, Vedalic Emperor, and... Yes, you probably wonder what the heck is going on. Why does this look different? Well, the reason why is because, um... I've decided to experiment with some new, um... Shaders, should we say. Apparently this one looks the most realistic out of, a, out of the bunch. So, uh, this one, uh, so, uh, where was I? Yes, welcome to another Dalek Reacts. Today we are going to be, um, well, doing what I said we would do, um, since the last Dalek cast. Today we are going to be reacting to Broken Mirror. Uh, before maybe now we're going to be, uh, breaking it into a couple of parts, maybe two. Because it's about one hour and forty minutes, that's how long it is. So, um, yes, once again, this is made by Crosshair Productions, um, one who, uh, did that trailer that I reacted to, this was made in 2015, and... Basically, um, it's the blurb is the same as, um, what it was for that trailer, basically, um, but Decepticons on, and Autobots are on the wrong side and they're battling each other, but, um, one's good and one's e evil. This time the Autobots are evil and Decepticons are apparently good for some reason. I, I have no idea why, but, yeah, uh, the Decepticon Tread Shop be friends, Grace Allen. Oh, by the way, uh, I have a little secret. I... I am uh, a Decepticon um, myself. Well, a Decepticon part-time because... Uh, I I have a casing which transforms me into a uh, into a Decepticon known as uh, Dalek Wave, which is kind of like a combination of Shockwave and a Dalek. But yeah, it's not all um, it's not all copying Shockwave. It's entirely different. So. Yes, we're just going to watch uh, up to about, say, 40 minutes of it, and then... And then uh, the, ne the next uh, Dalek Reacts I do, it'll be the second part of that. So, without further ado, let us uh, begin observing that. Okay, time to watch the first um, 40 minutes of it, and then... Wait, does it... Yes, first 40 minutes, and then in the next part we'll react to some of the rest. Let's observe. What the heck? Crosshair Productions. My 
my goodness, that's loud. Let me just turn it down a bit. Crosshair Productions. Crosshairs Productions, I mean. Uh, associated with Max Litton Productions. All credits will go to them as well. That's all there is to it. But all the creators of this will go to. Uh, well, all credit will go to the creators of the video. What if I'm compromised? And it's just uh, the same purpose as that. Accounts will be on standby to give you assistance should you require it. But I have Ultra Magnus. You're one of my best scouts. Are you up for this mission? Never had to ask. I'm confused. Why are they... They're supposed to be bad guys. The Decepticons. And also about seven good guys. I'm confused. directly ahead of me, but there's no sign of any activity. I'm gonna go check it out. I'll report my findings in an hour's time. Good work as usual, Treadshot. Megatron out. Alright, Prime. What are you up to? Wait, Megatron. I thought that was Ultra Magnus. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm Bumblebee. Intruder! I just realized why why are they the wrong color also why are the Autobots capturing humans they're supposed to be the good guys in Transformers why are they the evil in this I, I do not understand the transverse I don't understand. This does not make sense. Why is why are they evil? Wheeljack, it's Bumblebee. We have a problem. I thought Autobots, I thought it was, was the other way around. Autobots, Autobots never harm humans, Decepticons do that. Scenario. But there's trees and grass. I'm confused on what's going on. What's your name? I'm Grace. Sorry, it's just that it's not every evening that a giant metal man falls out of the sky. I understand. Where am I on Earth anyway? Yosemite National Park, California. But I can't be. Everything's alive. Oh, in the OG timeline, uh, a parallel universe. Parallel, pa parallel. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew something like that would happen. What? That's okay. why I can't I'm understand thinking, what that's going on. It's an entirely different reality. Where I come from, my people are a war culture. Vying for control of our supply of energon, our life force. Earth was caught up in the war and, well, it's not as pretty as it was to say the least. 
You seem to be taking this very well. A 20-foot robot crash landed within walking distance of my house. My day can't really get much more surreal than this. Fair point, I guess. So why can't your race just get along? Where do we begin? For eons, Cybertron, my home, was a peaceful world. Until the rise of Optimus Prime. What? He was a lowly archivist and icon. He had potential. He was intelligent, charismatic, and he had a strong spark. But it was in the wrong place. Through reading many historical records, he became inspired to strike against the autocracy that governed Cybertron and bring it to the ground. Found once. His views, and he recruited thousands to his cause. No. Autobots as a reference to their autonomous nature from our society. Optimus murdered the sensible prime, Cybertron's what? dictator. What the? This is not how I remember it. He took power for himself. I thought Optimus was like... The irony is... And wait a minute. I thought Megatron killed Alpha Trion and then... No, wait. I thought I thought Megatron betrayed the um, Council of Elders and then just be became a tyrannical dictator. And Optimus was trying to stop him. What the? What the heck? I thought he was looking for the ultimate. What the heck is going on? Much worse than Sentinel, fueled by greed and a desire for unlimited power. His original goal, bringing peace and prosperity to all, was entirely uh, forgotten. I do Only not understand. Existed. Fortunately, there was hope. From our darkest hour came a bright light. Megatron, a young mathematician from Polyhex. That's not Megatron, that's Sentinel, that's Ultra Magnus. ...to make it a fairer and more just system. But he was wise enough to realize Prime's methods were wrong. Prime did not care for the well-being of the lower classes, only for complete and utter control over the planet, and eventually the galaxy. Megatron swore to make sure Optimus' crimes did not go unpunished, and formed an army to fight against the evil Autobots who plagued our planet. Evil. ...of which I am one. With the noble Starscream and loyal Soundwave at his sides, Megatron began to retaliate, pushing back the advancing Autobot forces and winning the sparks of the Cybertronian population. But our war would not be won so easily. Like a cancer, it spread across the galaxy until it reached Earth. Billions were killed. Earth became uninhabitable. Humanity... Humanity is gone. My god. I'm not from around here, Grace. This is more alien than the Earth I left behind. But I have to get back there as soon as possible. I need to report back to Megatron. How? Transversal Bridge. I heard Bumblebee mention the name. We received intel that the Autobots had found something on Earth. I was sent to check it out, got caught in the firefight, and ended up here. If I want to get back, I'll need a bridge at this end, which I assume you haven't got. Nope. As far as I know, you're the first alien race to arrive here. So, I'm trapped here. I'm sorry. Well, best mate do with what I've got. And I've got nothing, really. I should find somewhere to hide. You can out. say and that you again. Go back home. It was nice meeting you, Grace. Oh, and um, tell nobody you saw me. Wait, um, perhaps I can help. How could you help me? Well, I live on my own now, so I've got this house all to myself. You can stay in the garden. This is a pretty rural area, so no one will notice you. And if anyone comes, you can just hide in the woods behind my house. Alternatively, I can hide in plain sight. How the hell did you do that? Good question, Grace. Because I'm asking myself the same one. What the? I am so confused right now. You're confused? What about me? Usually I become the car, but this is weird. Treadshot? Hold on. 
Okay, this is really weird now. Oh, the human body in that cryo chip. The thing that attached itself to me when I touched it. Some kind of psychic transfer technology. Um. Long story. For some reason, I can't maintain my vehicle form and keep my mind in there. It gets transferred into this human body. My car mode becomes just... a car. So, you're part of an alien race of giant robots that can change form? Yep. Except we generally don't have human forms. This is Autobot technology. They're up to something. Well, it'd be a good disguise, in my opinion, if they... Yeah, if they are able to do that. Look, Treadshot, we should go. It's really late and I'm freezing cold. Think you can drive your car? I mean, um, yourself? Um... I can try. Was, was it like mind controlling or something? What's wrong? My day can't get much more surreal than this. You think you're the only one who's having a surreal day? Starscream. We lost Trenchard's signal about an hour ago. He just disappeared off the grid completely. Impossible. Unless the Autobots has something to do with it. Continue monitoring for his signal. We have to find him. Anything else to report? Shockwave. Oh my goodness, I know that Starscream. That's a Starscream from Transformers Prime. My my favorite TV show. There's some information regarding the Autobot construct Treadshot was investigating. It appears to be a heavily modified version of what the ancients called a space bridge. A technology able to instantaneously teleport objects across space. Well, it's definitely not a space bridge. A universal, universal multiversal bridge. Presumably, they found the world to be incompatible, but they left the space bridge here. So what's with the modifications you mentioned? Could they be for enhancing the space bridge performance? Indeed. In fact, to such an extent that Shockwave hypothesizes it could be possible to cross into alternate dimensions, or a parallel universe of some sort. Parallel universes? Keep monitoring the Autobots' activity in that sector. Keep me updated constantly, Starscream. I fear Optimus Prime has stepped up his game. As you command, Megatron. If you're gonna fit in with humans, then you're probably gonna need a new name. What's wrong with the name I have? Nobody has a name Treadshot, believe me. So, uh... Well... Well then again... Would be a cool biker name. I think we'll work on that tomorrow. I want to get some sleep soon, but make yourself at home. Yes, I think I think many uh, bikers would call my themselves sister, that name, mother, kind my of. Dad, my big sister Sarah and me. I moved out of our family home about two years ago and came to live here after they. After they, what? I don't want to talk about it. Why? Don't ask. Please? Um, okay. I'll just go clear out the spare bedroom for you. Grace. Thank you. No problem. This universe gets a weirder all the time. I couldn't sleep, so I put my time to good use. This is what's splitting my body and mind. Basically, it somehow transfers my mind in my robot body into this human body by a wireless cortical psychic patch. So, where does your human body go when you're not using it? This is the best bit, ready? This piece of tech connects to a pocket dimension which stores a human shell while I'm in robot form. It's merged with my transformation cog, the biomechanism that allows me to change form, so the shell is stored uh. instantaneously and stored just as fast. Cool. What's happening? Don't alien robots get hungry? It's just a weird new 
sensation, that's all. Does this happen often? Come on then, I'll get us some breakfast, and then you start learning. Learning what? How to be human. The autopilot must have turned out again! Trickshot isn't aboard! There's no evidence of blaster fire or skirmish on the twilight! So, chances are, he may not have made it back from his mission. It would only return if he lost track of his spark signal for a significant period of time. Sir, he's been gone for several hours now. Damn it, Ranamuk, I'm not leaving him for dead. I'm not giving up hope. Not yet. We will find him. Starscream, take your seekers down to the surface and scan the area within a 500 mile radius of the construct. Report back to me as soon as you find anything. Megatron, forgive me if I seem unsympathetic, but the chances of finding Treadshot now are slim. To send out a search party for one scout would be a waste of Energon and time! Um, a scout is worth as much as 20 seconds, Starscream. You have your orders, now go! Yes, sir. I've never seen fireworks before. I mean, granted, I've seen a ton of explosions in my time as a warrior. Six months later, what the? Mm. Yeah, didn't you have fireworks back home? Nope. Trust me, you'll enjoy the evening. Ugh, we can't get close enough to the bay to see the fireworks properly. There's way too many people. I have an idea. <laughs> Now we have a better view. Well, that's cool. Also, I like the use of Lego figures in this. Yeah. There's another human custom I haven't told you about. Ah, lovely. Why does it say shattered glass? Earth. Is it fixed yet? Good. We can finally get that con. Activate the bridge. Let's roll. Oh dear. I didn't get why the Lord of Ops are evil in this. Oh wait, I know until we kill that slagging Decepticon. I ain't got luck on this. Oh wait, I know. I know why. I know why. Um. They're like this, but from another universe, I presume. Signal, but apparently this is roughly where the bridge was aimed when he went through. Start searching. If we find him, regroup. Then we can take him out. Oh dear. It's been too long since my swords tasted Decepticon or... Tread, you need to see this. People of Earth. My name is Optimus Prime. For some time, my Autobots and I have been living among you, hiding in plain sight, protecting you from our enemies, and gods. We have formed an alliance with a coalition of nations. Oh dear, yeah, this is where, this is where they get confused for the Autobots from their universe and the Autobots from this universe, Working from our own universe. Sharing our resources to protect humankind, 
I promise, in the name of freedom, we will eradicate the Decepticon threat from your world once and for all. I thought you said Autobots were the bad guys. They are, back in my universe. But here, I don't know if they'll be able to tell the difference between a Decepticon from this universe and me. He's here. Oh damn. I guess maybe you should tell Prime about this. Grace, get out of here. Well, but Prime's the best universe. No, wait! Go! But for evil, awesome, also Bob Sayer. Prime was caught back through the bridge and displayed on the walls of Autobot City! Autobots have arrived. Right now, we're the least of that con's problems. I shall let our contact know the situation. Treadshot should be dispatched with ease. Don't scare me like that. Sorry. You alright? Fine, yeah. Who were those robots? Autobots. From my universe. We're not safe here. Come on, we need to leave. Why would they come here? The Autobots? The ones from my universe, yeah. They came after me specifically. There's something I have that they want. The technology you stole from them? Most likely, but why? Why do they need it? Maybe because they want to create, um, techno-organic bodies, possibly. Tread? Could you switch to your real, your human body? Just to be near me for a bit? Grace, I need to stay vigilant in case the Autobots come. We're deep inside the park. It'll take the Autobots hours to find us. Okay, I'll be. We can afford to oh. relax for a little while. Please? <sighs> no, uh, never mind. Obvious. I was out one night, partying down in San Francisco till about two in the morning. 
and I came home to see the fire crews extinguishing the last of the flames and the bodies. Oh, Christ. The fire crew told me it was a gas explosion. The whole house went up in seconds, and none of them stood a chance. Why are you telling me this? Because I haven't been able to forget, or at least put my guilt and grievances and pain behind me before you came into my life. My friends all left town, and I, I just felt like I couldn't go with them. I felt like I needed to stay here to keep the memories of my family alive. I couldn't leave. I didn't want to. I grew up there for 17 years. How could I just leave them? I received counseling and all that and got a job in my house, but I never made any new friends or felt the need or the desire to move on. So I was stuck in a rut. And then you fell out of the sky. The metal soldier from another universe who fell into my life and turned out to be so much more. I haven't felt this way about someone. I haven't cared this much about someone for two years. And I think you being here and being part of my life has allowed me to move on. How do you see me, Grace? Do you see me as the metal warrior from another world? Or do you see me as... human? Well... I guess, um... What do you think? I think he knows. Yeah, well, why don't you kiss her and find out for yourself? As usual, love subplots usually go. I found them. Send them in. Oh dear. Grace, get off. Now. What? what? They found us. The evil Autobots? Worse. Good ones. Oh dear. All units, do not engage the target yet! Coming through! Take over! Wait! Damn it! All units, engage the Decepticon! Thank you. 
Disobeyed a direct order from a superior officer. Worse, you risked injuring a human in the process. You are confined to base until further notice. But I... My decision is final. Nicely done. Kick off. It's a kick over, dumbass. <laughs> ah, yes. Every time I hear Optimus Prime speaking. It's like the words of a leader come out of that mouth. Wanky wanky, Khan. Ah. Where's Grace? Do you mean your hostage? My friend. What are the other shows Is she okay? Listen, buddy. I met many Decepticons in my time. Most of them are dead, but I never met one who has befriended a human. So stop talking out of your exhaust port and give me facts. First off, who are you? My name is Treadshot. I'm a Decepticon, but I'm not your enemy. Oh, really? Then why should I believe you? Yeah. I don't expect you to. Oh, wait, no. I don't expect you to listen. I'm not from this universe. Oh yeah, yeah, you're not from this universe. That's a logical explanation. From the Autobots are evil. The Decepticons fight against their tyranny. Yeah, and the Unicron turns into a canoe. Sarcasm will get you nowhere. Promise sake, listen! Then please, continue. So if you're from another universe, how did you end up here? Well? I pulled up the only file we have on Treadshot. He's a Decepticon, like he says, but... But what? He participated in the first assault on Iacon. The Dinobots found him snooping around in the tunnel below the Decagon, and well, let's just say Grimlock and his team did what they do best. Uh, so if Treadshot is dead, who is this guy? Well, there's only three possibilities. He's either back from the dead, this is an impersonator, or... He's telling the truth. So, what do we do? Help him, obviously. Remove his restraints. Your story checks out, but we're not letting you go yet. We still have a few questions. Oh really? Well so do I. First, where's Grace? Second, who fired on her? Third, where am I? You're in Skywatch Headquarters, base of operations for the Human Autobot Coalition. Our job is to monitor Decepticon activity and eliminate these threats, of which you are, were, one. Your friend is in our medical facility and receiving the attention she requires. And the second question? There was a sniper as part of your task force. He or she was deliberately targeting Grace. There were no authorized sniper units in that task force. Perhaps it was a local landowner? 
with a military issue. Oh no. Really, Trax? We will investigate this. Have no fear, Treadshot. In the meantime, we will allow you to visit Grace, but you are not to leave this base under any circumstances. Is that clear? Crystal. I'll take you over to the medical block, though you may not fit. It's only designed to hold humans. Prime is the best. Listen, punk, I don't know what Optimus is thinking, letting me roam free like this, but try anything funny and I'll rip your spark out with my bare hands. Kick over! Who's that jolly bot? That is Kickover, the Intel bot. He's responsible for processing all the information we receive and verifying it. He's not much of a fan of Decepticons. Right! Yes, indeed. He's carrying some weird tech on him. Treadshot. Okay, Optimus, I'm gonna change into vehicle mode. Please don't let these guys shoot me. Well, at least I can fit now. I reckon Optimus was kind of shocked by that. Mm -hmm. No. Kid, did. a word of advice. What? About Kickover. The neon Autobot who likes to punch me a lot. Yeah, he's uh, he's not a fan of guns. Yeah. Fan. The point is, you need to stay clear of Kickover as much as possible. He's uh, he's got a tough life. He may fight for the same cause as we do back in your universe, but here, while you wear that badge, Kickover is your enemy. I think he's gonna join me also, but also about cause. Obviously. Grace! I promise you're okay. Do you remember what happened? Last thing I remember was you carrying me out of the woods. And then there was a gunshot, and... I don't know what happened next. Grace, I... Excuse me. Can I help you? I am General John Wyatt, commander of Skywatch. I was told there was a rather interesting Decepticon on the premises, and I could find him as a, either a bot or human. That will be me. The name's Treadshot. Prime has told me about you. Quite a story, in fact. All this parallel universe and human form stuff. <laughs> it's like it came out of a bad TV show. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Typical Prime. <laughs> One bad TV show. Optimus and I have some sensitive information we should discuss. Shall we? Of course. Grace, aren't you coming? No, go on, I'll be fine. Treadshot, for some time we've been receiving intel from what the Autobots tell me are reliable sources. Oh. Uh... Unfortunately, this intel has been somewhat compromised recently. Your incursion is one of the few solid ones we've had. Point is, we may have a traitor in our midst. But now, between Prime and me, we have our suspicions. Why do you need me? It's a long shot, but we thought you would be familiar with some of the Autobots from your universe, their personalities, and so on. And perhaps you would have thoughts on who the potential traitor could be. 
I really can say. Have you conducted an investigation? For all. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here. So, anyway, my fellow subjects, um, let's come back to me then. Well, before I end the video, I have to say, uh, voice of Optimus Prime, you're doing a fantastic job. And voicing Optimus, you actually sound like Peter Cullen. Unlike what um, a War for Cybertron voice actor is pretending to do. But anyway, my fellow subjects, I hope you enjoyed this video today. All credit will go to Crosshairs Productions. And I'll see you all in the next video then. Goodbye. Thanks all for the enjoyable video today.